Hi guys, I'm Vivacious Hannah. Welcome to this video and let me show you my shirt. So it says, Live Blessed and Thankful. So today I'm going to talk about my Anthem Lights experience. So Anthem Lights is a Christian band that's mostly known for their covers. And a few years ago they were my all-time favorite band. So I had previously bought tickets to go see One Direction in the summer, and this was three years ago. And then I became, you know, a big fan of Anthem Lights, and, you know, I kind of prayed. I was like, well, God, if I should go, uh, give me a sign. And I know that's not necessarily how God works, but I think one of the members tweeted me or something, and that was a sign to me. So I sold my One Direction tickets to my best friend, and I bought tickets for their Revolve concert in Roseville, California. And Revolve is kind of like a conference, so they had, uh, let's see, they had Natalie Grant, Krista Black Gifford, Anthem Lights, obviously. They had KJ52, Jenna Lucado Bishop. There may have been a few other people I can't really remember right now. So my mom and I attended the concert together and it was such a great experience. When I saw them for the first time, when I specifically saw Caleb, which is who I was crushing on at the moment, oh my goodness, my eyes were just, oh, I was bawling so hard. I was like, they're, they're right here, ha! Ah! And, um, and you know, I was just so overwhelmed because I had been a fan of them for like, I think a few months, maybe six months at that point. So the concert was great, the speakers were great, everything was wonderful, and then at the very end I got to meet them. So I was waiting in line and, you know, my nerves were getting the best of me because I had never been to a concert before, I had never met a band, and I forgot to mention, we were front and center. Um, I'll try to insert a picture here. And I met them and I was, you know, going across shaking their hands and and this is when it was just Alan, Chad, Caleb, and Joey. I came to Joey, and I was also crushing on him. It was kind of like split between Caleb and Joey. Uh, <laughs> this crush is gone now, by the way. Just need to clear that up. So he had tweeted me a few times at this point, and I came up to him, and he just looked at me. He's like, I love Grim Shady, right? And I was dying inside because that was my Twitter name at the moment. It was just an incredible first experience. And I tried telling them that I would wait for them after that so that we could, you know, take an actual group picture and my poor little baby heart because they didn't stay there. So it kind of ended on a sad note, but I was still really happy about everything that happened. And of course, I did experience post-concert depression, which is not fun. So anyways, a while later, they ended up doing a Kickstarter campaign for their album, You Have My Heart. And I begged my mom and dad to let me just get one of the rewards. And we ended up paying a lot of money to be able to host a concert. This is another completely new experience for me. And with Kickstarter, if you, you know, if you get the first reward, that's great. If you get the next reward, you get those two. And if you get the next one, you get those three. And so on and so forth. I think our reward was like, 10 items down the list so we got a bunch of different things I mean some of it was simple like just like you know an email saying thank you or a follow on Twitter which they already followed me so it was kind of pointless or a download of their album but some of it was way more intense like one of them was to come spend a day in the studio with them in Nashville and I live in California so Nashville is pretty far away but my mom was willing to take me, so we went, and since my dad is a musician, we have a studio at home, so I don't really need to experience that because I already have. So instead, we opted out for just a day around the town with them. So they took us to go get lunch and then some coffees afterwards, and the meal was lovely, the atmosphere, and we, you know, we were joking a lot. They showed me one of their covers before they posted it. It was just really awesome, and it was a kind of intimate experience, but it was only Caleb, Chad, Joey, and I, and my mom, because Alan was at home sick with his kids. And after we ate and stuff, they took us to Dave and Buster's. It was really fun, 
Uh, we went bowling, and I'm terrible at bowling, so obviously I lost. But it was still a really fun experience. And then afterwards, we played around in the arcade, and then we went in a photo booth and took a bunch of crazy pictures. Um, it was a different kind of photo booth because there was like a guy modeling the poses for us, like in the little TV screen. I'll put some of the pictures here. After we played around a little bit more, uh, it was time for them to drop us off, and I was really sad about that. So, concert planning. It's tough, and my mom did most of the work, and I kind of wish that I would have done something like called churches or, you know, did a complete media blast. I just don't know where the time went, so we didn't really do much of that. Uh, my battery just died, so if it looks different than before, I'm sorry. And my parents had been begging me for like weeks to go up and announce them and I was like, no, 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 I can't do it. Only about 300 people showed up. So it was really kind of intimate. So anyways, I did end up getting in front of 300 people and announcing them and I believe I have a clip. So all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, I want you guys to welcome in the lights. And so the concert ended and then we were backstage with them and you know we were all just hanging out a group of my friends and I and we got Chad to do his British accent which is terrible. <laughs> what's this? What's that? <laughs> what is Chad? I got a tattoo on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and my mom presented me with a signed Anthem Lights poster but it wasn't just any poster because I already had ones of them. She had it custom made with pictures from my first time meeting them and from our time in Nashville and I was just so shocked. We got some guitar picks from Joey and Alan also and then the night just kind of came to a close. We all went our separate ways and I haven't really talked to them again so I guess if you guys are watching this Hello, and welcome to the band, Spencer. This concert actually prompted me to meet two of my best friends, Erica and Macy. Uh, if you guys are watching this, I love you, and I'm so glad that you came to the concert and we could build this friendship. So, that is my experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see when I make more videos, you can subscribe if you are subscribed already. Thank you, it means the world to me. If you have been to a concert or if you want to go to one, just leave me some comments or you can try and talk to me on my social media links. I will leave those in the description box. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.